Satoshi gave us money that isn't debt. And philosophically, why would you put debt on something? I, I like to use the phrase, a, a fool and their leveraged Bitcoin are soon parted. Um, <laughs> Again, a fool and their leveraged Bitcoin are soon parted. Uh, the, and, and, and the excesses that we've seen in this bull market are coming from a lot of leverage that didn't happen in the previous bull market, right? We had the ICO issue in the previous bull market. This bull market, it's leverage, right? We've seen more volatility. And one of the big issues with that is that even those of us who are not leveraged have the downside of the fact that the price is more volatile precisely because of the running of stops um, in these leverage drawdowns, which we've, we've just seen over the last month. It increases the cost of capital for everybody in the industry when Bitcoin's price is more volatile as a result of the impact of leverage moving it around. Avanti is fundamentally committed to not using leverage. And if you're interested in understanding why philosophically, I really would encourage you to go read Mises. Go understand the difference between commodity credit and circulation credit. Commodity credit is absolutely fine. It's not leverage. One, one, going one-to-one -one leverage is fine. Anything that, that is circulation credit that goes above one times leverage, in other words, certainly 100-to-1 leverage is way, you know, is 99% circulation credit, right? That is creating claims to the underlying out of thin air. It is fractional reserve banking. And we are fundamentally committed to not doing that. There's a, it is ultimately a commitment to solvency instead of liquidity. And what we've seen in this bull market is a lot of folks are obsessed with liquidity. Satoshi didn't create anything that was designed to be leveraged and really didn't care about liquidity. One of the biggest takeaways that I have from this conference is what Nick Zabo said yesterday when he said liquidity is a nice to have for a store of value, but not a necessity. You need to be able to use it when you need it, but do we need all this daily liquidity that's driven by trading? Go back and listen to Nick's speech and go read your Mises and learn about circulation credit. <laughs> Sam, do you agree? Look, you can take the position leverage is bad. I don't believe that, but one could believe that. Um, it's not a crazy thing to think. Um, however, were you to think that, I think you'd probably also have to uh, be willing to sacrifice more than most people realize in order to get there. I think you have had to sacrifice the majority of the growth that the industry has had to date if you were to make that trade, and that might be worth it. Right? If you think that it is very bad to have leverage in the system, that might be a trade-off worth having. Um, but you can't just look at the drop from 60K to 40K and blame it on leverage without remembering that the run-up from 10K to 60K involved leverage Absolutely as well. Absolutely. Yeah. We ended up higher than we started. And, and so just think about what you're throwing out uh, you know, with the bad parts. To, you know, think about the collateral damage. Well said. <laughs>